Okay, let's solve this differential equation. As we can see, this is certainly not separable, and this is also not linear because the y is inside of the cosine. And um, this is also not exact. You can check for exactness, but it's not exact. Let me just tell you guys that. So it's not separable, it's not exact, it's not linear. Hmm, so what can we do right here? Perhaps the trouble is that you see we have the y over x squared inside of the cosine, right? So I think that is the trouble zone. So let's try to use the substitution. Maybe we'll be able to change this, right, into an equation that's actually much more doable once we make the substitution. So I would like to say that, let me just use another variable, phi, okay? Let phi equals to the inside, which will have y over x squared. And you can look at this, multiply both sides by x squared. So you have the same thing as saying y is equal to phi times x squared. And keep in mind, y is a function of x. x squared is, of course, a function of x. Phi is equal to y over x. So technically, phi is still a function of x as well. When you have y is equal to v times x squared, well, you have this right here. Um, I'm going to figure out what's dy dx, right, in terms of v. So let's go ahead and see that. Right here, I'll just have to differentiate that, dy dx. I will have to use the product rule here because, once again, v is a function of x as well. So I will keep the first function. I will multiply by the second, so I'll have 2x, and then add it with the second function, which is x squared, and then multiply by the derivative of the first, which I will put down dv dx, because once again, v is a function of x. So this is what we have. I think this is enough that we can just use all these ingredients, plug it into the original equation, and try to see if we can make any progress. I have to plug in this for the dy first, right? dy dx first. So let me rewrite this better for you guys. Right here, we will have 2xv, and then we add it with this, plus x squared, dv dx, right? And this will be equal to, 2 is still the 2 on the top. This y is the same as bx squared over the x that we have, and then we add it with cosine, and the input there is the v that we have. So that's pretty nice, huh? Well, I don't know if this is going to be uh, easier or worse. Let's continue. So perhaps you see that this right here is something we can make progress of, right? Because I can cancel this x with one of the x. So this is technically, what? 2vx. And the good thing is that right here we have 2xv. So this right here cancels out with that as well. All in all, we just have this. x squared, this is dv, dx, and this is equal to cosine of v. Okay, I think now we can see what's going on, and we can actually solve it, right? Because uh, we can just simply separate the variable. Let's multiply uh, 1 over cosine v on both sides. So let me just do that right here. Let's divide by cosine v on both sides. Let me just show you guys all the work. So multiply by 1 over cosine v. And in the meantime, I will you know, cancel this out, but I will bring the, um, let's multiply dx on both sides. And so they cancel out, but I also have to bring the x to the other side, right? So let's divide it by x squared. So they cancel out, so uh, I will put this down as 1 over x squared. So just do that. You want to do that in your head, that's totally okay too. But the reason I show you guys all the works because now you see this is 1 over cosine v, which is just secant of v, and then this is dv, and this is equal to, this is gone, this is 1 over x squared dx, right? So I'll write this as x to the negative 2 for integration purpose. So this is what we have. Vs and the x's, right? So now I can just go ahead, integrate, integrate. And let me put down the answer here. The result of the integration right here is first we will have the ln absolute value of secant v plus tangent v like this. And then this is going to be, integrate this, add 1 to the exponent, which is going to be negative 1, and we'll divide it by negative 1, right? So it's going to be negative x to the negative 1 power, so I'll put this as negative 1 over x, just like that. And don't forget, now I can put a plus c. And right here, if you want to just go ahead and stop it, uh, it's definitely okay, in a sense that we solve this differential equation, but keep in mind, we still have the v's, right? I cannot isolate the v, but last thing I have to do is, v is what? 
y over x squared. So finally, I'm just going to put this down. Ln absolute value, this is secant. D is uh, y over x squared. And then plus tangent. And then this is y over x squared as well for the phi. At the end, this is equal to negative 1 over x plus c. And if you can try to isolate the y right here, go ahead and do so. But I think this is a legitimate answer for it. And that's it.